Hi guys, myself and Kitty Nays with the vision is another problem on lead code. Pascal's triangle. So given an integer number rows, it is the first number rows of the Pascal's triangle. So in Pascal's triangle, each number is the sum of two numbers directly above it as shown in the figure. So basically what the question is, we have to build a Pascal triangle and we have to return the each row in the Pascal triangle. And number of rows they have given. So how do we construct a Pascal triangle? So initially there will be one, then you sum will be split it to one comma one. So this is how basically like initially you have a first row as one. Then summing up the next all the rows, if you see the corner ones are one, but the middle one is the sum of the upper two rows. So here one. Sum of these two is two. Here, sum of these two is three. Sum of these two is three. Again, coming to here, the sum of these two will be one plus three, four. Here, three plus three, six, and three plus one, four. So all the corner ones will be one, one. So this one, it is like for a given box. The top two previous row sum will be added. And for coming for the next row, last will be one. Here you add two, that will result in two. Then again one one. So this will add up to three. Again for this you add up to three. And again one one in the corner. So for this uh, one plus three will be four. Here three plus three will be six. And here one plus three will be four. So basically, Pascal string how we draw is each sum row will be the uh, computed from the previous row, and initially you have the one as the number. So in the given question, we have to return the Pascal triangle. If you see the output for five rows, they have written each row as a list. So the output is list within the list, list within the list, and Number of rows is y. So it will be 4 until the 4 rows we have to compute the Pascal's triangle. So how do we solve the problem is as I said before, we'll just finish this. So the output is list within the list. Let's name it as triangle. So this is nothing but list within the list. That means this list contain each row as a list. Next for the first row, we know that um, we will name that as a list named as first row. For that we will add one. So that is one thing. So once you add this one to the first row as a list, this list must be added to the triangle. So we do triangle dot add of First row. So what we did is we have a triangle. I can this list inside the list, and this list inside this represents each row in the Pascal triangle. So each row are the list, right? So for that first row, we will create a list called first row, and we will add one to that, and that first row will be added. As a list to the triangle. After this, for the remaining rows, to compute these remaining rows, so follow the other i equal to 1 to uh, less than m rows. So because uh, 0 through uh, list is already done in the triangle, it contains 1. So for the remaining 4 rows, Index will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 to 4 we need. So from starting from 1 till less than numbers, that is 5. If we take into this example. Here what we do? Again, we have to create a list. So let's name it as current row. And this current row is completed from the previous row. If we take this as a current row now, we are computing this row from using this row, right? 
So for that we name as a previous row. And this previous row is nothing but triangle dot get of i minus 1. So if we take into this very first row, for completing this row we need previous row. So triangle dot get of i minus 1 and triangle dot get of 0. Get of 0 is nothing but first row. This will be taken into account. So for completing each row, we have to use the previous row. So previous row is triangle dot get of i minus 1, current row is a new row. New list. So now once you compute the current row and previous row, now you have it. For the current row, we know that the first and last element are 1. So for that, we will have current row dot add of 1 initially. And at last also, we need current row dot add of 1. So between this, what computation we need? So for getting these elements, how do we perform that? So if you take into this particular element now, this is computed from previous row j minus 1 value. So again here one more loop we have to carry for j equal to 1 to i less than i because j equal to 0 is we have added one element and less than i because i to i also we have added one element at the last. So from 1 to less than i this is the one in less than i. So j minus 1 will be 0 and j value will be 1. So previous row previous row dot get of j minus 1. So 1 minus 1 will be 0, this position, and this one position will be this previous row dot get of j. So here current row dot add. What we'll do? Previous row dot get of j minus 1 plus j. So once you compute the current row, we have to add the current row to the triangle, right? So triangle dot add of current. So at last you return the triangle. If I need to tell the flow again, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, then 1, 3, 3, 1, and 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So initially what we'll do, we will have a list, inside list. And we name data as triangle. So this all the lists are nothing but each row in the Pascal triangle returned as a list. So first row we know for that again first row as a list we do and we'll add one to that. And this first row is added to triangle. So triangle dot add of first row. And for computing remaining rows, all of from i equal to one less than num rows. Here again one is current row and previous row is triangle dot get of i minus 1. So for current row initial uh, the first and the last should be the add 1. So current row dot add of 1 beginning and end we have to do. In the middle part we run the for loop called j equal to 1 because 0 position we have added. So j equal to 1 to less than i. And yeah, we do current row dot add of. For example, computing this element, this position, this position, this is 0 position, 1 position, and this is j equal to 1. So j minus 1 and j plus 1. Previous row dot get of j minus 1 and previous row dot get of j. So after our computing current row, we have to add this current row to the triangle. So triangle dot add of current. We will code this. So as I said initially, we have to create a list inside the list of type integer. And the name is triangle equal to new array list. Next, we'll compute the first row. 
as a list. So list integer first row equal to new array list. For this first row, you need to add one. Let's add this first row to the triangle list. So triangle dot add of first row. So next what you do for computing remaining rows or int i equal to 1 till i less than num rows and i plus plus. So one is the previous row right. So list integer previous row equal to triangle or get of i minus 1 and current row will be new. So list integer current row equal to new list. Uh, or we have to add elements to the current row. So current row dot add of one at the beginning. Next run the fall for in j equal to one till j less than i and j plus plus. The current row dot add of previous row dot get of j minus one. This previous row dot get of j. So after this, again current row dot add of 1. Next add that current row to the triangle list. So triangle dot add of current row. So it has written the triangle. Now all the test cases passed. If you have any doubt, please drop in the comment section. We'll come up with other very next session. Until then, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Keep learning. Thank you.